My friends, I am in the shade, out in the desert at Quartz Fest. I'm having a wonderful time. Um, two things that are missing right at this very second is a beer in this hand and, uh, and a hot chick on the other. I put on my finest flannel for you today out here in the <laughs> desert. Great to be uh, chatting with you. I know. Nice to talk to you. Jerry, I've heard so much about you. Um, so uh, tell my people who you are. Well, I have an interesting background. Uh, I started my career as a race car driver. So did I. Did you really? I did. Oh, that's awesome. I, a, uh, I was in drag racing. <sighs> okay. I'll let that one pass. What did driver you do? Quarter mile dirt track racing. Quarter mile dirt track racing. And I used to build my own chassis as well. Full really? chromoly tube chassis, I, small block Chevys. Baby. I, quick change rear ends. I am strangely attracted to you. <laughs> but uh, guys, Jerry Ellsworth, AI6. TK. TK. What's the TK stand for? Techno Kitty. Techno Kitty. Nice. So anyway, Jerry's out here in the desert with me, and we're uh, having a spiked seltzer. <laughs> yeah, I should have got one too, man. That sucks. You should have. Well. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Cheers. Well, uh, anyway, the, the rest of my background, in the 90s, I opened a chain of retail computer stores in Oregon, so I had its whole chain of computer stores. No shit. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a great time to have computer stores. And then that whole market crashed, and then I just brute forced my way into doing chip design and then later consumer product design in Silicon Valley, and so that's what I've been doing for the rest of my career for the last wow. 15 years or so. Nice. Yeah. And so recently got licensed. How long have you been a ham? I think about three years now. So just three years. But I was a pirate radio way before that. Nice. <laughs> did you play music? What did you do on pirate radio? Well, my neighbor was into electronics and we used to build these little transmitters and we would ride our bike to see how far we could receive our signal and we'd just play music, just random stuff. And uh, it was like a kind of a cold war going between us so he'd go a little farther and then I'd build a bigger transmitter and a bigger transmitter eventually we got into using tubes and then we couldn't ride our bike in an afternoon to reach the end of our transmissions and then so we switched to FM broadcast how nice and started uh, it's also a CB or I know boo hiss hey you know what I got a CB in my Jeep I know it's awesome yeah good buddy breaker 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 what's your 10 7 no Right, ten, got, which 1020? 1020. Ten, ten, 10, That's 1020. It's been a while. <laughs> You're like my daughter. <laughs> she said, 75. <laughs> 74. <laughs> oh man, you're going to have a terrible time editing this. Oh, uh, this is. Uh, this is my perfect scenario. Oh, okay. This is what I do. What are you working on now? So I have a startup in Silicon Valley where we're making augmented reality glasses. So it's glasses that you wear and then you see these video game characters just spring up out of the table. And you can interact with them. And if your friends have glasses, they can participate as well. So imagine like board games, but like on steroids, mm -hmm. you know, like Star Wars chess, that kind of thing. And you can also play uh, the games with your friends that are remote. So it, it breaks down those barriers of trying to get everyone around the table playing at the same time, you know, get them over to your house because you can just play remote as well. This is not your first year out here at Quartz Fest because I remember I saw you last year Yep. and maybe the year before. Yeah, I think it's been three years. It's been so three it was years. probably the first year I got licensed to just hauled ass out here. It was great. It was the year that there was like the huge wind storms was the first year. Yeah. And then last year, unfortunately, I last year early. there was oh last year there was huge windstorms too. Uh, it's all a blur. Yeah. Well, you know, this year too many, 
too many spiked seltzers. <laughs> yeah, the ends of the days get a little uh, uh, fuzzier. Hey, you know what? It's five o'clock somewhere. I think it's five o'clock now. <laughs> <laughs> The early morning hours in the desert were some of my favorite. The solitude, the quiet, and just the sheer amount of RVs parked in this one area all to play ham radio was simply amazing. These early morning hours and these early morning flights this was my time to find the really cool stuff. The stuff that just kind of stood out from the crowd, like the earth roamer here. And uh, so I could bring you stories about stuff like this. Woo! Look at this thing. It is. Bring your own shit? <laughs> okay. Alright. This guy. This guy is ready for the shit. He is ready for the shit. Holy fuck, look at this. It looks like mission control inside. Is this like an Isuzu? It's a Mitsubishi Fuso Cancer FG. This is the most important thing on it right there. This is pretty badass. It's got 540 amp hour battery bank. Can I come aboard, yeah. Captain? Yeah. It's junky in there, but it's not ready for camera work. But. <laughs> well, it is now. Holy shit, look at this. End of the world, guys. End of the freaking world. Look at that. It's like a whole control panel. Small little area to eat. You can crawl through and get into the cab. Nice cozy little sleeping area and a vanity. Uh, a little gun tour at hatch up here. I can pump water from a stream or a creek and I will sanitize it and then I can put it in where I want. So I got two ga two uh, water tanks and I can move water to one tank to the other or from the outside or or whatever. That is awesome. Yeah, heated. So what is that, like a uh, like a little Berkey filter? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, just like everything in it's marine grade so there's no wood. So it's all, it's all, and if every, the Wabasto heater and the cooktops all diesel no propane that's just for my fire pit well Boston burner you got it yeah well Boston burner I got a isotherm refrigerator so it's got a freezer it's got rigid lights all the way around um, it's got I got air so I've got uh, compressor crazy attachment point scorpion cap mm -hmm. hat cargo Water. How much water? Two diesel things. Uh, it's got two 38s. That's a cassette toilet that motors out. Right there. Oh, no shit. Look at that. You do your thing, move it back, and then it's got a cassette toilet where you don't have to pump it. You just, uh, like, it, you know, it comes out right here. You just go dump it and put it back in. Clean. Outdoor showers behind here. If you ever need it, and it's got its own. I usually just use it for my dogs, but death system. Mm -hmm. Lock and front hose for four wheel drive. Awning. <clears throat> yeah, it's a beast. It goes anywhere. Take it anywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you're not going 70 down the road. Yeah. What do I have in here? What? Yeah. Potassium permanganate and um, glycerin. So I've got some glycerin. It's like, uh, yeah, so we're gonna do. Uh, what do they yeah. call that? Flammable shit. Potassium permanganate. <laughs> and then we have a little vial of a little bottle of glycerin. Nitroglycerin? Not nitroglycerin. Oh, just okay. vegetable glycerin. 
That's all oh, it takes. Really? Yeah, we're gonna get the fire going with this stuff. Yeah. All right, we're going to make fire. That's that's a little bit of char cloth. I'm looking over here. It's, it's what again? Char cloth. Char cloth. Which we're is, just gonna put a little bit of char cloth in there to get it going. A little tinder, too. kind of like just get it's it. Kind catch of half burned, half burned uh, cotton. Material. Yeah. Oh, okay. He knows his stuff. So. That's one of our challenges here was so to come anyway, up with a creative method every night here at the campsite to start our fire. So no newspaper and matches. So we're gonna come up with something creative. Alright, so this is a, a little straw full of the potassium permanganate. So I'm gonna open this up and you can actually use this uh, to filter water too if you if you need to filter or sterilize water. Yeah. Everybody stand back, it's gonna make a big boom. It's gonna it's gonna catch fire. Fire, fire, fire! Are you ready Without for a this? Match? Yep. Without a match? Without a match, you don't need a match with this. <laughs> there goes the cameras. <laughs> Once it gets okay, going. It only, it only cost me twelve hundred bucks. It's the it's the knuckles that are Try to give it a little bit of a <laughs> You know, I like it better when things just go boom. Yeah. Oh, oh there, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. There it goes. We have a chemical reaction here. It's happening. Wow. It's happening. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. She didn't say it was toxic. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to be healing. You're going to do my Tom <laughs> Hanks fire? thing? I see fire. I mean, I'm going to grab my gear. You're in Detroit. Where's your rig? <laughs> Down that way. <laughs> yeah. He's Palo Alto. There we go. Yeah. And we have fire! Yeah. We have fire. We have created fire. <laughs> God, a... Yes! Look what I have created! I have made fire! I! Have made fire! With but I can't even say it now. Potassium uh, permanganate. I want to see a and glycerin. See. And although I've been talking mostly about the off-grid aspect of quartzite, I can't uh, in good conscience leave this video without showing you guys a little bit, a tiny little fraction of the big tent and the big circus in town. And what would the whole courtside experience be if you didn't get to go take pusher? tours of all the new and used motorhomes on the market what year is this? and uh, tear them apart so you could make yourself feel better about yours? But uh, Jerry, thanks for uh, thanks for being on the show. Thanks. That's thanks fun. for uh, Clementine hibiscus. We don't have to totally rough it out here. No, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm Bob K6 UDA. This is Jerry AI6TK. We're out of here. Seven three.